All right, just wanted to jump on and make a quick video on how to speed ramp in Premiere Pro. Um, if you go on YouTube, there's a few ways that you can do this. This is the way that I found is easiest and works best um, for what we do. But if it doesn't make sense to you and you want to find some other ways, um, obviously you feel free. Um, but this is the clip that I made. So it's slow, fast, and then slow again. So I'll just show you how I made that clip right there. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete it. Um, go ahead and find the clip in here. All right. Let's see, it starts right about there. Just gonna drag this in, move this back over. And so what I'm gonna do is it's gonna be slow here. It's gonna speed up through this middle part. And then it'll slow up again right about there. Let's see, and then I think I stopped right in there. So what I did was I kind of just haloed around the kitchen. So I just, I walked straight through here, but I just turned the camera towards the kitchen as I walked sideways. So I just kept turning, kept turning, turning the camera. So I'm walking in a straight line, but I'm just turning the camera as I walk. So to get that halo effect. All right. So to do the speed ramp, um, first thing I'm going to do is, so I shoot in um, 30 frames and edit in 24, so that's going to allow me to slow this clip down right off the bat. Um, so to do that, to speed duration, make it 80%, and that's going to smooth it down for me already without adding the stabilization. And then I think this clip did need some um, stabilization. So what I do is hit nest, hit OK, and then drag, drag the warp stabilization over. Just let it render. All right, now that we are rendered, um, let's go ahead and take a look. Should have a nice, slow, smooth clip that we can now adjust the speed to. So you can see that this is about, I think it's like 12 second clip or so. Um, yeah, 13 seconds. So you can see that to do the speed ramping, you really want to get slow, um, smooth, and long clips that you can adjust the speed to. All right, so once we have our clip set, um, come down here to show keyframes time remapping, and speed. Okay, so um, from there, all we have to do is set the points at which we want to, um, we want the speed to change. So like I said, I'm gonna do it right about there, and then it's gonna speed up through here, and then it's gonna slow down again right in this area. So to set a keyframe, you just set the marker here, wherever you want the speed to adjust. So I'm gonna do it right there. And then I'm going to hit this little icon right here. All right. And then that's going to allow me to adjust the speed, adjust this line up to make it faster. But I have to put where I want the speed to end as well. So, so it doesn't look like it set it. So I'm going to do that again. There we go. So now you can see this is the, what we adjust. So now I can change the speed there drag it out a little bit to right there and then hit that icon again and now we have two points that we can adjust the speed so this middle part is the part that I want to speed up so I'm just gonna grab this line and start pulling it up and I'm gonna move it as far as it'll go okay a thousand All right. All right, so I'm getting an error that says the warp stabilizer and time remapping can't be used on the same clip. So what I have to do is go back.
And now I have to make this a nested clip. So right click, nest, hit OK. And then right click, keyframes, remapping, speed, and then go in and find our spots. So add one there, drag it out, add one there. Okay, so this is where it's going to start speeding up, speed up through here, and then slow down again. So again, drag this bar, drag it up as high as it'll go, a thousand. All right, then we'll play it, see how that looks. And then we have a nice smooth speed ram. If you want it to be faster than a thousand, so you can see that that speed ramp, it's fast, but it could be faster. So what we have to do there is we have to make it a nested clip again. So right click, nest, hit OK. All right, and then. keyframes you kind of have to do this over again time remapping speed find those points that it speeds up so right there hit that find where it slows down right in there do that and then you can just drag this up to about no more than about 200% from there. Okay, so let's see. This should be a little bit faster now. Yep. And so that's really it um, for speed ramping. It's just a subtle, subtle little speed change that can really spice up your videos a little bit. So nice and slow right in to slow it down so there's other ways to do it this is one with two speed changes I could have dragged it out made it fast all the way through so this is a more complicated one that's why I wanted to show you this one so if you just want to do one speed change obviously if you're walking into um, a hallway or here's a good example right here So this was a shot I did where I just did one speed ramp. So I started out here in the hallway and walked all the way into the master bedroom. So that one, all you would do is just set one speed change spot right at the door frame. And then you would just speed up the part where you're in the hallway. And then it would slow down as you go into the bedroom like that. So these are just a couple examples. Um, let me know if this video makes sense and feel free to reach out with any questions. All right, thanks.